You want to master your emotions. And I'm telling you, the secret is... Emotions are confusing, but with just a little neuroscience, they make a lot more sense. If you've heard me tell the story of why our organization is called Six Seconds, you know that emotions are actually chemicals. I was talking with Candace Pert, our advisory board member, and the former chief of brain science at the National Institutes of Health. She was explaining to me that emotions are actually messengers that go running around between our brains and our bodies. She said it's almost like a second nervous system. We have this communication system made up of our nerve cells, but we have another communication system that's these chemicals. And they're produced primarily in our brains, but also everywhere in our bodies, especially here and in our guts and in our spines. They even go between us as we start to perceive what's happening with others. But these chemicals going back and forth between our brains and bodies, carrying information and helping us get ready for opportunities and threats. We have this way of understanding information and communicating inside ourselves and between each other that's just happening. It's like this whole other form of intelligence. Emotions are produced primarily in our hypothalamus. It's like a little factory. And then they go through the pituitary gland released in our bloodstream into your body. So now let's zoom in and pretend that we are all cells inside of one body. And we have these chemicals that are running around. And remember, they're like little keys. And each chemical has a unique shape and structure. It's going to go uh, looking at the cells. And these, these, these chemicals are going through the bloodstream and they're looking for a cell where it matches. If it doesn't find one, it looks for another cell. And it finds a cell which has a matching lock or receptor site. Bing! And the, the chemical is actually absorbed. That chemical is now broken down. So that one little bit of emotion chemical, it lasted for up to about six seconds. These chemicals are going to be hanging around. And then they're completely absorbed, broken down, recycled. And then this cell is changed. And the electrical set point of that cell is changed and it starts producing new chemicals. And those chemicals start looking for other receptor sites. Bing, bing. And now pretty soon we have all of these different cells producing chemicals. And it's like inside of a pinball machine. Bing, 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 bing. All these cells are activated and the whole chemistry of our body has started to change because of these emotion molecules giving us messages to help us prepare for the opportunities and threats that we're perceiving. Neuroscientists call that a cascade. And what it looks like is this. You get a little bit of chemical, and then that cell produces more, and then those cells produce more, and then those cells produce more. Pretty soon, the whole system is flooded with this chemical. But remember, each little bit only lasts for about six seconds. So that means two things. One, if we want this piece of information, if that's something that's precious to us, we need to tune in and get it. Two, if we just interrupt this cycle for about six seconds, the flood is going to subside. Now, what often happens in our interactions is we keep adding to the flood. We're frustrated and we're telling ourselves, I can't believe that person said that. Every time we do that, we're producing more and more and more. And soon we don't have just one cascade, we've got a dozen of them. This cascade process, we actually can have different cascades happening in different parts of our bodies. And as you're learning to tune into your emotions, one tool that you can use is to actually feel the physical sensation. For example, some people carry a lot of anxiety in their bellies. Some people carry them in their, in their spines. For me, it's up here in my shoulders. So this cascade process, interrupt this flood and we can create something different. We have some choice here. And that six second pause is the key. So because these emotions are part of our biological selves, neuroscientist Antonio Damasio says, emotions are embodied. Emotions are part of our physical beings and we can't just put them aside. They're part of what keeps us alive. When you are in a state of reaction, that your emotions are, are going really fast and pushing you into that flight, fight, freeze mode, your cortical thinking shuts down. Learning theorists call this downshifting. And your limbic brain, where the emotions are seated, has taken over. So the trick to slowing down 
and giving yourself a little space to stop that cascade is this six second pause. You know how your mom told you to count to 10 when you were a kid? That was actually pretty good advice. But as you got older, it got too easy. I'm really mad, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm still mad. So what we're gonna do in a six second pause is we're gonna engage our cortical brain, the wrinkly part on the outside, where we do our language processing and our symbolic reasoning for about six seconds so that we get the different parts of our brain resynced, working together again. And really that's what emotional intelligence is all about. Emotions and intelligence. You just think of something that's gonna take you about six seconds and is gonna use your language processing or symbolic reasoning or mathematical parts of your brain. For example, maybe do six math problems, or maybe take your favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe, how much you'd have to use to make six times the normal recipe. When you're doing these kinds of activities, what you're doing is you're engaging different parts of your brain. One of the keys to activating your emotional intelligence is to remember we don't just have one feeling at a time. And when we're in this state of reaction, what we wanna do is slow down, shift our brains, and then we can pay attention to all the feelings that are there. Let's recap. What we cover, emotions are chemicals. They're produced in our brains, but also in our bodies. Like our nerve cells are carrying information back and forth throughout the organism, our emotion chemicals are doing that as well. Emotions are affecting all of the living cells in our brains and bodies. And these little messages are like keys. They go into the locks, otherwise known as receptor sites. And we have these receptor sites in our brains and throughout our bodies. The emotion chemicals go into the cell. They're absorbed and broken down. They change the electrical set point of that cell. And then that cell starts to produce different chemicals. As the chemicals start to multiply, we have a cascade effect. Each little bit of chemical only lasts for about six seconds, but we produce more and more and more, and then we have this flooded state and we're deep into reaction. Now we need our six second pause to stop that cascade, create a little space so we can step back and use our whole brain to master those emotions and make our best possible decisions. Hi, I'm Josh Friedman, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share it, like it, subscribe, comment. That really helps us with our work to bring emotional intelligence to everyone in the world. These are skills that are really needed in the world right now, and we need you to help us help others.